What up, what up? Winboys here, and today I'm excited to show you guys how you can bring in your motion graphic dynamics from Cinema 4D into Unreal version 4.23. Now, community member Cal Royce was asking about how to do this, and I told him if you bake out like an Olympic file and bring that into Unreal, it should work. But if you want to use like your native Cinema 4D project file, you can actually bake out your dynamics into keyframes and then bring that into Unreal. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I have Cinema 40 R20 open right now just because I'm more familiar with the layout for the moment. And so I'm going to start by making a floor. I'm just going to make this floor like five by five by five and zoom out a little bit. And then I'm going to make a simple cube and I'm just going to drag this up above a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this cube collide with the floor for the dynamics. And so I just want to make a material so I can kind of separate the two. So I'll just make this yellow. Actually this, make it, I guess like a blue. And then for my cube, I'll just make this, let's say like a purple or something. Something that we can separate the two and see what's going on. Okay, so now I want to add dynamic tags. I'm going to come over to my floor, come over to tags and then come down to simulation tags, add a collider body, and that's all we have to do there. And then for my cube, we wanna kind of fracture this up. So I wanna come up to MoGraph, come down to Veroni Fracture, and then I'm gonna drag my cube under Veroni Fracture. And you can see that we have our cube all fractured up. This is all simple beginner stuff here. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to my tags, hit simulation tags, and make it a rigid body. And then from here, I believe I want all my individuals here, inherent tags, I'm just gonna do apply tags to children. So if I click play, you can see we have our block hit the ground and breaks apart. So now to be able to bring this over to Unreal, I don't think we can bake it this way, but the way that I found is a workaround is we can make the baked object turn into keyframes, which anything that has keyframes could be uh, brought into Unreal. And so I'm gonna start by coming over to my Veroni Fracture here. I'm gonna click C on my keyboard to make it an object. And if I open this up, you can see each one of our fra um, fractures are an individual object now. So next I wanna come up to where it says layout. I'm just gonna to go to animate. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna select all my pieces here. And then I'm gonna come down to the lower left hand side on my timeline where it says function. I'm gonna hit baked object. And then for my baked object, I just wanna make sure that everything is check marked here. So baked expressions, I would, um, usually it has all parameters clicked off, but I just click it on just to make sure I keyframes everything out and we have our timeline from zero to 90, which is correct. So I'm gonna click okay now. And now you can see down in our timeline, we have a keyframe for each one of our fractures here. So if I go back into my startup layout, you can see that it actually made a copy file here from our original. I guess if you um, made a mistake and you wanted to have the original there, it keeps that there for you. But I'm gonna delete that one and just keep them my, um, my copied one. So now if I click play, we have our animation fall, hit the ground and everything is keyframed. So if I select any of these objects, you can see down here, we have keyframe for that object. And so from here, it's as simple as going to file, save project for Melange, and which I just did another video where I show you, it's actually, if you're using R21, it's save project for Cineware. They just changed up the naming convention, but this is R20. So we're gonna go save project for Melange. And then I'm just gonna find where I wanna save this at. So let me go to my folder that I have built for this. And I'm gonna just name this file. Um, let's just name it Wimbush Dynamics. Like so. Click save. And then I'm gonna open up Unreal. And when you open up Unreal, you'll see um, up here it will say data smith so you want to click on the arrow beside it come down to cinema 4d we want to find the file that we just made the cinema 4d file which i named wimbush dynamics click on open click ok and then click import everything here and now we have 
our files in here, in which if I go over to my lower left hand corner, click on animation, and then I'll double click on this where it says one brush dynamics. This is your sequencer panel and you just click play. And now we have our animation playing within Unreal. So that's just a quick workaround that I found. If you um, if you look at my other video, making X particles into Unreal, I saved everything out as an Olympic file. That will also work. But if you want to use your native Cinema 4D file, this is another way that you could do that. And so hopefully this answered your question and helped you out. You know, as always, keep creating. I'll see you on the next video. Click that subscribe button. Take care.